Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mark Schillinger, founder of the Young Men's Ultimate Weekend and Challenging Teenage Sons. The Young Men's Ultimate Weekend is a wilderness rite of passage event for young men ages 13 to 20, and it does help them develop their emotional intelligence and to become more responsible and resilient, while at the same time having outrageous fun out in the wilderness with our mentors. I'm also the founder of Challenging Teenage Sons, an organization that helps parents and their teenage sons have more caring and cooperative relationships. The theme for today is you, the parent, you, need to literally initiate your son into becoming more responsible and more resilient. You need to initiate your son into becoming more responsible and resilient. And to do that, you need to have three key ingredients. Number one, you have to have a way, you have to have a method, you have to have a system of raising your son in this digitally dominant era. Number two, you have to have a rite of passage. A literal rite of passage in your house is what I want to talk to you about. You have to initiate your son into what's coming. And then number three, you have to have mentors. You have to have people like me or relatives or neighbors who are mentors because parenting alone will not help a teenager learn how to successfully navigate the challenges of the young adult world. Three ingredients. You have to have a way, you have to have a formal rite of passage right in your own home, and number three, you have to have mentors. Now, I want to let you know about rite of passage real quick. As the founder of the Young Men's Ultimate Weekend, I have literally myself initiated thousands of young men, probably just like your good son. Good young men who have good hearts, they're good souls, and they're getting lost. In fact, we were featured on a show uh, called This is Life with Lisa Ling on CNN last year, last November 2020, and the show was called Lost Boys, and it was all about how we're losing our sons to video addiction and other things. So the rite of passage is a way to help them navigate their way through all these things that they're dealing with. What I want to tell you about rite of passage is that we've forgotten how to do this in our culture. So if the culture is not putting on rite of passage, which is what I do with all these young men over the years, um, 20 years now of initiating young men, what we do is we teach them in a way that bypasses or works through all the digital distractions. So you have to have a way to do that, which I will teach you how to do. All right, so the reason why you need to have this rite of passage, as I said, is because there's so many distractions to our good sons, who have good intentions but don't know how to make it out there. They think they do. They probably have no problem telling you that they know already what they need and we know that they don't. Okay, So you're going to need to have a way because the culture is way more concerned about selling our children all sorts of things, getting them totally addicted to video games on their devices and all sorts of other things when we know as the parents that they need to learn how to become more responsible, more resilient, more relaxed, and ultimately more confident in who they are and how to make it out there. So the rite of passage will actually do that for you. So, yes, you can send your son to the Young Men's Ultimate Weekend. Yes, you can attend a rite of passage that I personally put on for parents. You heard me right, a rite of passage for parents. And I do that with parents either out in the wilderness, sometimes in a hotel, but the point is that I actually do rites of passages for parents to teach them how to do these five elements of a rite of passage in their home, which I'm now going to teach you. So number one, if you're going to put on a rite of passage in your home because the culture is not supporting us to do that anymore, you need to do it. Number one, you have to have a series of talks with your son. Each talk should take no more than two minutes, if that. You can do the five different talks in one night, take 10 or 12 minutes to do it, or you can do them over what I would recommend five nights in a row. This way your son knows what's coming. Why? Because the way most parents, the way I did it with my son Gabe before I created this way and turned our relationship around using this way, because most parents just kind of see this continuum of their son being a boy, being a boy, being a boy, and then all of a sudden trying to get him to act like a man, and he wants to act like a boy, and you want to get him to act like a man. And he knows he needs to be a man, but it's way more fun acting like a boy. So you need to have a formal series of discussions with him. And they're just a couple of minutes. So the first talk is called the mentor talk. 
This is very crucial. This is where you're going to be telling your son that you're going to be parenting less and mentoring more. That means you're going to do less things for him and actually teach him how to do more things for himself in order to get ready for the challenges of the young adult world. That's the first talk. Number two, the releasing ceremony. This is radically important. This is a ceremony, and this may go 10, 15 minutes, it may go two minutes. This is a ceremony where you're going to give your son the opportunity to release his anger, his pain, his suffering, his frustration, whatever it is that he has with you and the way you've raised him. Does this mean you're going to give up your authority to him? Does this mean that he gets the keys to the car and you have to go uh, live in the garage somewhere? No. It just means that you're going to be taking away the main reason why he still acts like a boy. Listen carefully. Your son mostly acts like a boy still because he feels like you don't know him, you don't listen to him, you don't understand him. So he withdraws further and builds up this whole list of things that he doesn't like about you. And that becomes his main reason for not growing up. Because he doesn't like you or respect you. He loves you, of course. He'd be happy to take your money, for sure. Seriously, he does love you. And he doesn't feel like you're the one to lead him to the promised land of young adulthood. So, you need to give him a way to tell you that you could have done better. And then you own it. You get accountable. You just own it. And that's it. You don't go into long apologies. You don't go into anything other than thank you for telling me how you feel. I appreciate that you're getting that off your chest. Okay, that's it. Number three, then you have to have what's called the virtues talk. In my method, the right way method for family unity, we pick virtues. Virtues are one word qualities. So you would pick four or five virtues that you know your son needs to learn in order to make it in the world. Responsibility, resiliency, accountability, respect, discipline, uh, humor, uh, fun, whatever the virtues are that you know your son needs to learn, you need to tell him at this talk. At this third talk, you're going to let him know that you acknowledge the virtues that he already has. Maybe he's really playful. Maybe he's a good connector with people. Maybe he's empathetic. Whatever virtues he has, you're going to recognize them, and then you're going to tell him that as his parents, you know that there's certain virtues he needs to develop. And you actually hand them, him the list of those virtues at this talk. Okay, so that's the third talk. The fourth talk is really important. It's called the consequence talk. This is where you're going to be laying out for your son the method that you're going to be using to consequence him. Now, I know that when your son hears the word consequence, he's immediately going to think of another word. Can you guess what it is? Punishment. Well, if you make up shit on the spot when he does something that you're not happy with or that violates some virtues like responsibility or accountability, parents tend to make stuff up right on the spot. And your son's going to get angry and he's going to withdraw further and that becomes his excuse not to grow up, at least not in front of you. So you have to let him know that you have a way to consequence him and that the context, the purpose of this positive discipline consequence method is to help him learn how to get back into alignment with the virtues and values that he's going to need to learn in order to make it in the outside world. I'm pointing to the window out there. They're not punishments. There's a whole way to explain that. And then number five is called the family mentor talk. So that if you hire somebody like me as a mentor, or you bring in some aunts and uncles or neighbors who can mentor him on the values that you want him to learn and the behaviors he needs to develop, you need to let him know that, that there's going to be mentors helping him because this is an ancestral tradition that we've kind of forgotten in our culture. So I want to repeat the five elements of the rite of passage in your home. It can be done all in one night or over a series of nights, but usually within one week. You're basically saying we're drawing a line. Boyhood, adulthood. You can still have fun. Focus comes first. It's kind of the, the theme. So number one, you're going to have your mentor talk that you're changing gears from doing things for him to teaching things to him. Number two, a releasing ceremony where he gets a chance to release all of his past pain and hurts and disappointments so it's not an excuse to continue acting like a boy. Number three, then you're going to have the virtues talk. You're going to pick certain virtues that he needs to learn. You're going to define them with one sentence each. So, for example, responsibility means, uh, let's use this definition, doing things you like to do and don't like to do until completion. Accountability. Owning what you should have done or not done without excuses. 
See, this eliminates a lot of chatter that your son doesn't listen to. You just get right to your point. So you can have the virtue talk. Then you can have the consequence talk, where you can let him know that consequences are a way to practice making it in the outside world while living under your roof. Okay? And then number five, family mentor talk. If you're going to hire somebody like me or another mentor, or if you're going to bring in relatives or neighbors, you have to let him know that's what's coming. So those are the five elements that you need to initiate your son into so that he gets that boyhood is fading and young adulthood is now emerging in an organized, formal way. This is how our ancestors did this for hundreds, probably, of thousands of years, certainly tens of thousands of years. Okay. So I just want to let you know, I got a chance to practice all this stuff on my own son, Gabe. Gabe is now 39. He owns one of the biggest hip-hop businesses in the world, online business. Okay, he sells beats to the superstars, and he actually teaches young people like your son how to do it. Well, he's 39 now. When he was 16, I didn't think he was going to even make it out of high school with all the things that he was into, including drugs and alcohol and cutting classes, even though he could have been a straight-A student, which he ended up almost being anyway, just to show me that he could do it. My point is that I was failing as a father at first. My son was moving further and further away from me, and then... I decided to basically change careers from doctor to family mentor, starting with my son. And although I had a lot of experience running the Young Men's Ultimate Weekend, I finally put it together in a package, in a formal system that I use with parents now, and it worked. So it turned my relationship around with my son. He and I started that business together. He's taken it all the way. Okay, and he's doing great. So I've been through this. And I know the system works, and I also know it works because it's worked for thousands of other people that I mentor around the world. Okay, so it can work. So I want to say this to you. If you're concerned that you may need more information putting on the rite of passage in your home, call me. I love to do, I do free 20 to 30 minute consultations with parents because I like to find out, number one, what's going on in your home, what are the issues? Number two, can I help you as a mentor? And then number three, in this instance, I will give you some insight. If you have specific questions about the rite of passage, I'll do my best to answer them within that 20 to 25 minute call. The way to reach us is at area code 415-785-8818. That's 415-785-8818. Or email us at info at challengingteenagesons.com. Info at challengingteenagesons.com. I truly look forward to hearing from you. There's certain hours per week that I put aside to meeting new parents. Give me a call. Email us, and we'll help you do this rite of passage. Thank you for watching.